hello again. We are playing Doorways Prelude, and uh, let's get back into it. I guess we're after the professor. Let me see. Pair, clock, chains, cage. Okay. Pair, clock, chains, cage. Pair, clock, chains, cage. Ooh, I got a choice, left or right. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, looks like I'm not getting through here. Maybe it's for later. Air chain clock cage. like some witches were burned. <laughs> I think I'll get down through this. At that moment I remember wondering, is all of this just my imagination? Perhaps now I should add, or is it a figment of the broken memory of this maniac? Could the background of the tortured and murdered victims of this chamber have something to do with it? They were accused of witchcraft. Maybe something esoteric tainted their souls. And now, hundreds of years later, I'm being poisoned by their curse. This line of thought made me remember one of the details of the investigation that brought me to this place. A girl had gone missing in the proximity of these woods. An unfortunate teenager that after some inquiries, I linked to Wiccan practices. Had she been kidnapped and tortured to pay for her heresies? Well, that time that, Wiccan practices didn't start until, mm, I want to say the 70s? Maybe the 60s. There were certainly pagan practices, but Wicca is a fairly new religion. Here's some doors opening.
pair, pair, clock, chain, chain, cage. Pair, pair, clock, chain, chain, cage. Let's see what we can do here. Considering how fucking dark it is. Pair. Pair. Nope. Pair. Clock. No. Hmm. It'd be a lot easier if it were brighter. Pair. Pair. Clock. Chain. Chain. Cage. Pair. Nope. Thought that was a pair. 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 Clock. Chain. Chain. Cage. Pair. I can't see this one. Is that even one? Ah. Pair. Clock. Uh, you know what? Fuck the rest of it. Pair. Clock. Chain. Cage. Chain. Clock. Pair. Clock. Chain. Cage. Chain. Clock. open yet? No. Yeah, at least it's interesting, you know? Pair, clock, chain, cage, chain, clock. That was pretty interesting. All right, doorways, you've, uh, you are interesting to me. this place. Nope, nothing there. Just gonna have to go back. Ooh, um, that's very black down there, so how about no? an obstacle course with atmosphere. True that. Uh-oh. Hmm. There we go. Alright. I'm 
remember having felt great relief when I left behind those sinister dungeons with their dark halls and their whispers. The presence of those accusing, tortured souls was killing me at every step. I didn't do this! Once in the clearing, the tranquility of having found an exit was interrupted by the sudden notion of my finding me once again in the dark woods. Those haunting shadows were starting to drive me insane. Still, something kept me moving forward. I knew I was closer than ever to the place I needed to find. I was determined to discover the truth. Whoever was responsible would pay for the suffering he caused. <clears throat> something was pushing me forward. Like being funneled. And going the only direction available to me. Ooh, that one was a close one. Where am I going? Am I going this way or am I going this way? I have a choice. Hmm, left or right? Let's go right. That was close. I can't see a damn thing. Well, I'm assuming this place is important. Looks like the Amityville house. It's got a doorbell. No. Well, let's go this way since there's light this way. Well, that door is blocked up too. Mm hmm. Blocked. Is there a key somewhere? Maybe under the mat? Hmm. And there are no torches around either. And again, this day is very, very dark. Uh, these are broken windows, but there's no way up there. Can I finally use my relic? No. Can I hit it with this? No. Can I pull it? Can I push it? Can I pull it and push it? No. Can I jump up and down on it? No. Hmm. I'm running out of ideas. Oh, hey. Something over here. Oh, there's a key. All right, well, let's get moving. trapped.
no light, no torches to make light. Let me push this door aside. There we go. That was a neat noise. I liked that noise. I'm familiar with this torture device. Uh, there are two ways it can go. It can either tighten the collar, or you can push, like this model, you can push something in the back of the neck to slowly sever the spine. It's basically decapitation in a very, very slow way. I'm also familiar with this device. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's not one of my favorites. I haven't seen this one, but I've seen something similar called the Iron Boot. And it didn't have uh, spikes on the side, which incidentally is a great idea. The Rack, classic. The Spiky Chair, classic, once again. And yes, most people don't uh, ever think about the, uh, the crushing of the legs at the bottom to slowly... I feel I've been in this place hundreds of times before, but I'm sure this is my first time here. Until yesterday, the existence of this hideout was mere conjecture. The applied engineering on these torture machines is astounding. What type of mind is that brilliant and at the same time that twisted that it can design systems so efficient in dealing pain and affliction. Having to go through the function of every piece of the machines is torture itself. I can feel the despair of the victims while the professor methodically assembles each part, making them watch, making them imagine the pain before provoking it. But I must do it. I have to follow every step in his memories as accurately as possible, because that's the only way to feel what he feels, to see what he sees, and then find him, not only physically, but spiritually as well. This is the price I have to pay to get him and make him pay for his crimes. Uh, point of order, this guy did not invent the rack. Can I get a 3D model of this? Ooh. Oh man. I don't need to know I don't even need those designs. I can tell you exactly what pieces are missing. Well, we're missing a couple of things here. Namely, a victim. Yeah, yeah. And that's broken. Poorly maintained. How are you supposed to tighten the legs like that? Hmm. It's this way. Oh, this wasn't uh, on the list. I'm familiar with this one as well. Hmm, am I? Those spikes would kill them. That wouldn't work. The spikes on the bottom aren't the problem. It's the spikes on the top that don't make any sense to me. Also, there are no holdings there. I think the victim's supposed to go on the bottom, but... I don't like this design. Okay, piece of wood. I'm gonna get lost here. Ooh, another piece of wood. Thank you. Ooh. 
I might actually have to look at the designs. Oh, that one, I already know where that goes, so that's good. And apparently this is the parts store. Hmm, missing the helmet here. This would just kill them by trepanning. I come here for... Oh, well. Uh, there should be another one, shouldn't there? I guess I'm missing some parts over here then. Hmm. Okay, well, moving on. Am I caught in a loop? Oh, hey. the helmet. What's up? I've told people before, Saf is just my Mary Sue. I don't just have her heart. I approve. Oh, hey. That will help quite a bit. Have I been in here? Yeah, I was in here. I had the helmet there. Okay. I'm right, yeah, I need this piece right here, I think. No, I am wrong. Hmm. No, we'll keep looking. Can't make it through there. Okay, as for you, I found the third piece of you. I need a Shelly. Hmm. So I guess I gotta wander around because I. Somewhere I must have got lost. Yeah, somehow I got lost around here. Oh my god, it's just so dark. Ah, uh, game design motherfucker, do you speak it? Ah, finally. hoping to find another piece around here. So what do we have left? We just have this left. Which I was sure went to the rack, but for whatever reason... Oh, it must go here.
Yeah, that's gotta be it. So what's missing? I guess a handle is missing. I hate to say it, we gotta go hunting. Oh, hey. Well, ask and thou shalt receive. Anything other pieces around here? Hmm. Oh well, anyway. Once again, this design, I'm not, I don't really like this design. See, that doesn't work. That, that doesn't work. The spikes would kill them on the top while you're holding, also there was nothing holding the arms there. Ah. Uh. I've actually seen it used better. Wait a second. It blocked me off. I hope that means there's nothing down there I need. <clears throat> that just leaves the rack. And it's broken. fix that rack. Hmm. See, even he agrees. I could take this bit and put it right here. Or if I had a welder's kit. Can't go that way anymore. I guess I got all the pieces I can. Oh. I'm stuck. Well, oh, let me put in a little cut for YouTube's here. Now, while I think of things, oh, mm. also, I may have to turn off the lights in this room just so I can see. It's weird to say it like that. All right. Well, okay. I'll be right back, YouTube's. <laughs> 